Hello everyone. Today we'll be talking about the PR interval in the ECG. So the PR interval is the time from the onset of the P wave to the start of the QRS complex. That is, so the PR interval is this one. So onset of the P wave that is uh, denotes the atrial depolarization, and then the PR interval that is beginning of the to the beginning of the QRS. So this whole segment is called as PR interval. This is the actual time which uh, atrium takes, the depolarization takes to travel from the atria to the ventricle. So it reflects conduction through the AV node. So again, the interval is beginning of PWF to the beginning of the QR, QRS complex. So what is a normal PR interval? Normal PR interval is around 120 to 200 milliseconds. That is, so each small square is actually 40 milliseconds. So the normal PR interval should be within three to five small squares or within less than five small squares. That is five less than uh, one big square. So three to five small squares or less than one big square is the normal PR interval. So if the PR interval is more than 200 milliseconds, so that means uh, there is a longer time which is taking for the uh, atrial depolarization to pass on to the ventricles. So that means there is a uh, AV that could be a AV node uh, delay and which is actually characteristic seen in first degree heart block. So as we have already said the PR interval should be less than five millimeters or five small squares. You can see here how many small squares are there. These are roughly around seven to eight small squares. So that is why these PR interval is more than 200 milliseconds, which is characteristic seen in first degree heart block. What is short PR interval? Sometimes in few cases, the PR interval can be less than 120 milliseconds, which suggests pre-excitation. So what does that mean? So normally what happens is the normal pacemaker, uh, so SA node acts as a normal pacemaker. From SA node, the electron, the electrical activity has to go through the AV node and then from AV node to the bundle of phase center. So due to any reason, if this SA node is defective, or if there is any other accessory pathway which is uh, connecting this atrium directly to the ventricle, so accessory pathway which is connecting atrium to the ventricle, so this will what will happen because of that? This will bypass the normal uh, phenomena and the atrial depolarization will directly go into the ventricle. So that's why the PR interval gets shortened. Or else one more possibility is that if your AV node is acting as a pacemaker, then the time taken from the AV node to reach here is very much shorter when compared to time taken from SA node depolarization of SA node to reach to the ventricle. So any conduction which is starting from the AV node or if there is any accessory pathway between the atrium and ventricle, it will produce a short PR interval. Short PR interval means uh, any PR second interval which is less than 120 millisecond or less than three small squares. So it is basically seen with AV nodal rhythm, that is AV node acting as a pacemaker or an accessory pathway between the atria and ventricle, which is called as pre-excitation syndrome. So there are two types of syndrome which you know, that is WPW, that is Wolf, Parkinson, White syndrome and Long, Ganong, Levin syndrome. So WPW syndrome has a characteristically, we have said, as we already said, it's a pre-excitation syndrome and there is an accessory pathway present. It has short PR interval. You can see here, the PR interval from here up to here, it is around two and a half small square. There is less than three small squares. That is less than 120 milliseconds. The other features of WPW syndrome is a broad QRS complex and a slurred upstroke, which is characteristically called, you can see this upstroke of this one. This is characteristically called as delta wave. So WPW syndrome, we'll be uh, talking about it in the uh, very well next session, uh, which will be in, in detail, we'll be speaking about Wolf, Parkinson, White syndrome. So this is Delta F characteristic of WPW syndrome. Now, Long Genong Levin syndrome, this also has a very short PR interval, uh, but it has a normal P waves and a QRS complex when compared to WPW, where it has a broad QRS, and there is no Delta wave seen. So you are ECG, you can see here. So this, you can see here, the P wave is very much here around only two to three small squares that is less than 100. The, there is P wave is normal and QRS is also not broad. WPW is expect a normally broad QRS, but it is not broad. And as well as there is no delta wave. So this is called as LGL, that is Long Genong Levin syndrome. So you can see here, it is a normal, uh, normal atrioventricular impulse transmission that is from SA node to the AV node. And then from the AV node, it goes here. So normally, so this is, if SA node is a pacemaker, the time taken from here to reach up to the ventricles is what is PR interval. In case of first degree AV block, the AV node is actually defective or there is delay in conduction through AV node. That's why this gets, entire process gets a little bit prolonged. You can see it as prolonged PR interval. 
In pre excitation, there is an accessory pathway. So, what they are doing is they are bypassing this uh, chain and they are passing, the current is directly passing to the ventricle. So, and that's why it has a delta wave called, called a short PR interval. Next is called as AV nodal rhythm. So, if there is AV node rhythm, that is AV node acting as a pacemaker. So, as we have already said uh, about this, that if your AV node is acting as a pacemaker, so normally the current pass from SA node to the AV node. So, the, all the vectors are directed towards this direction. That is the towards the axis of the heart. And that's why it gives a positive P wave as seen here, positive P wave. If your AV node acts as a pacemaker or maybe due to any reason SA node is defective, all this the for eta to depolar, the electrical activity has to go from the AV node to in this direction. That is in the opposite direction to the normal axis of the heart, which is directed toward left ventricle. And thus it gives you a negative deflection or an inverted P wave. As you can see in case of AV nodal rhythm, you can see it's characteristically. And since AV node is very close to the ventricle, it has a so PR interval gets very much shortened. Hope you have understood uh, this topic. Uh, if you have any other queries, uh, you can comment on my comment box. All the references have been taken from the litfl.com, Brownwell textbook of cardiology and Harrison's 20th edition. If you wish to uh, want me to explain any other topics or any other ECGs, uh, please let me know. Uh, and do, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Akib. Thank you.